Let's install Octoprint Octolabs step by step. Here are some components needed for this process. Step 1. Download the latest Octoprint. To download the latest version, visit this site. The link is in the description. Scroll down and click here to download the latest version. Extract the downloaded file. Then download this software called Balena. Step 2. Installing Octoprint. Insert your SD card on PC and format it. Then open the Balena software. Click here to locate your .image file and select it. Then click on the select target and select your SD card. And click on flash. It will take a few minutes. After the flash completed, remove the pen drive and reinsert it. Open the micro SD card and find this Octopi WP Supplicant file. Open it. In that, find this section WPA WPA2 secured. Remove this 4 hashtag. And here, type your Wi-Fi name as it is. And in PSK line, type your Wi-Fi password. And make sure don't remove the quotation marks. Then save the file and remove your SD card. Insert your SD card on the Raspberry Pi. And turn on the Raspberry Pi. Step 3. Setting up Octoprint. Now, in your browser, visit octopi.local. Wait for few seconds. It takes time to load for the first time. Here we go. Now we got a setup wizard. Just click on next. Here create your username and password. Then next click on enable connectivity check. Click on next. Again enable this anonymous tracking. Enable plugin backlink also. Here set up your printer profile, printer name, print bed volume and other settings. Then next click on finish. As you can see, our Octoprint is installed. Connect your printer to Raspberry Pi through USB. Make sure your printer is turned on. In Octopi, select this save connection and then click on connect. Now our printer is connected successfully. Let's test the printer. For that, go to the command panel. As you can see, this is a access control of our printers. Let's see if it is working or not. Y axis works fine. The x-axis works fine. And also the z-axis properly works. Now in the temperature tab, we can also set nozzle and bed temperature manually. Preset for PLA and ABS or we can type our own temperature values. The G-Code Weaver tab help us to know the layer and nozzle position. The terminal tab is for commands. If you face this lightning issue, that means your adapter or lightning cable is not providing enough power to Raspberry Pi. So you have to upgrade that. Now click on this setting icon, scroll down and find plugin manager. Here you can find installed plugins. Also you can add more plugins by click on add more. If you want me to make a video on the best plugins for Octopi, then let me know in the comment. Our Octoprint is successfully installed. Step 4. Installing GPhoto 2 on our Raspberry Pi for controlling our camera or DSLR. Visit this link to know compatible cameras before further process. We need GPhoto 2 for Raspberry Pi for controlling our camera. For that, we need one more software named Putty. Visit this site, download it and install it. Open it and here type octopi.local. First time it will show you some warnings. Just accept it. Here type pi in small letters. And for password type raspberry in small letters. It will not show you the letters so be careful while typing password. Now we have successfully entered a raspberry pi. Let's update the raspberry pi first. For that use this command sudo apt get update. Enter password once again. Wait for few minutes. Done. Now let's install gphoto2. For that enter a command sudo apt get install gphoto2 and press enter. Then type y and enter. Wait for few minutes. And here we go. Installation done. Make sure you have the same commands on the screen. If you got any error, just restart the putty and try again. Now 
Let's test gphoto2. For that, type gphoto2 command. As you can see the list, that means the gphoto2 installed correctly. Now we have to enable gphoto2 run without sudo. For that, type this command sudo v sudo. In this directory, come all the way down and paste these commands given in the description. Then press Ctrl O to save and then Ctrl Z to exit. If you have a DSLR or other camera, go to your camera settings and select PTP in USB type option. Connect your camera to Raspberry Pi. I have a Sony ZV-E10 and for those who have the same type of camera, then you will also face this issue. That camera is go for USB live streaming mode. But don't worry about that. Follow these steps in camera. Sit the live stream mode. Go to the menu. Then network 1 tab. Then select this PC remote function option and turn it on. Now as you can see the PC symbol on camera. That means now the camera can be controlled by PC. Come back to the party and type this command gphoto2 dash dash auto dash detect. Now you will find your camera name and port. Now enter this command to test if the camera is working or not. As you can see the camera captures the image and saves it. But I have got an PTP error. For all those Sony ZV-E10 users or a similar camera have the same problem. Don't worry about it. I have a solution for this. And all other DSLR users, you will get successful result without any error. Now, for those who got a PTP error like me, we will use this command gphoto2 dash dash trigger dash capture. Not get an any error with that. Okay, don't get confused. I will repeat this. If your camera supports gphoto2 capture image and download without any PTP error, then stick to it. But if you have camera like Sony ZV-E10 or similar that have same error, then go with gphoto2 trigger capture command. It will save your images in your camera, not in Raspberry Pi or Octolabs. But it's okay. You can actually get images through your camera and then manually render it through your editing software which will give you more quality render. Now this process is about to finish. Let's create a snapshot script for Octolabs. For that enter this command given in the description. Copy this entire script and paste it by right clicking on this directory. Now if your camera supports gphoto2 capture image and download command then leave this as it is. But I am changing it to gphoto2 trigger capture. Press ctrl o to save then ctrl z to exit. Now enter this command for execute permission to the script. Step 5 installing octolabs. Go to the plugin manager. Search here Octolabs and install it. Restart the Octopi. Now in the Octolabs tab, edit printer settings, type your printer details and save it. Then click on the settings icon and then go to Octolabs under plugins. In that camera tab, click on the add profile, name it and in camera type, select external camera script option. And here paste this. Click on the test script and test it. If the camera clicks image then it works very well. My works fine. Triggers camera very well. But got an error after clicking the pics. But that's fine. Ignore that error. Cause our each and every images saves in the camera. Get those images into your PC and render it manually through your editing software. And for those who have other DSLR or other type of cameras. They don't face any problems or errors. Just scroll down and save the settings. Don't forget to add this command in after layer change script into your slicer. I would like to read your thoughts, suggestion in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you for watching.